Hi, I'm Margaret with Whimsy North, and today I'm going to show you how to do a provisional cast on using a crochet hook. You will need a waist yarn in a contrasting color, a crochet hook, and the knitting needle that you want to cast on to. First step is to make a slip knot with your waist yarn and then place it onto your crochet hook. Next, you will grab your working end and your tail and bring your working yarn behind your knitting needle. Now, take your crochet hook, going over the top of your knitting needle, grab your working yarn and pull it through the slip knot there. That is one stitch. Take your working yarn back around to the back again for the next. Loop it around, pull it through, and that's stitch two. Pull your yarn back around, loop it, and pull it through. The most important thing to remember when doing this is to bring your working yarn back around to the back, then grabbing the yarn with your crochet hook and pulling it through the loop. Do this as many times as the stitches that you need to cast on per your pattern. You can see that it makes this really nice cast on. Then, after you are done, you can start knitting with your main color yarn or the yarn that you're going to be using for your project. And this allows your stitches to be live at the end uh, so you can seam them up later. Once you have the number of stitches that you would like to cast on, you are going to do a chain. Oops. So you will take your crochet hook and chain a couple of stitches just to create a tail that keeps the yarn from unraveling while you're knitting. So I just kind of chain a few. Then take your scissors and trim that waist yarn and pull it through. That will keep your provisional stitches safe while you are knitting. Now you can go ahead and begin with your main color, which I would use the mustard next. And that is a provisional cast on using a crochet hook. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials.